Hello and welcome back to another compilation of weekly meals. This time we're going to do two weeks since I skipped last week, so I'm putting two weeks together. If you happen to hear the pitter-patter of little paws, that would be one or both of my dogs, so just ignore that. Um, starting off Monday with some butter chicken. The recipe will be linked below. If I have any recipes to link, they will be in the description box. Starting off by sauteing some onions and garlic until they get nice and caramelized. Now adding the spices. So once those are all put together, I'm gonna add the tomatoes afterwards. So I'm gonna saute the spices with the onions, the aromatics, just let that go for a bit, just to kick up the flavor. And then I'm going in with the can of tomatoes right here, and then I'm gonna let that simmer for a bit. Once that's had a chance to simmer, I'm gonna go in with some heavy cream and then blend that all together for a little bit so that the flavors can meld together. Now at this point, you're gonna blend the sauce so that it's nice and smooth. I'm using it in an immersion blender. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and do this in a regular blender and then put it back on the heat. Um, my immersion blender didn't really get it super, super like creamy smooth, but no matter, it still tasted really good. Once that has simmered for a bit again, I'm gonna add the chicken that's been marinating. Again, the uh, complete recipe will be linked below so you can get the marinade that I used for the chicken. I use chicken thighs here and I'm just gonna put that in the sauce and let it simmer to cook through and through. And then I'm gonna go in with the very, very last ingredient, which is uh, the butter. You'd think there would be more butter in this, but I think it's called butter chicken, but it just required a little teeny tiny knob of butter. And if you hear my dog barking, I apologize. Here is that butter that I mentioned. I'm using Kerrygold. You can use whatever butter you want, um, but letting that melt and then just mix through so it's all nice and combined thoroughly. And that's pretty much it. Um, I will taste it here at this point to see if I need to adjust any seasonings, but it turned out to be just fine. So um, I just served it with some white rice here. Normally when we uh, order this, we like to have it with a side of Pollock paneer and some naan, but didn't have that. So this was our dinner for Monday night and it was delicious. It's Taco Tuesday and I'm making a sort of like copycat Taco Bell uh, Mexican pizza. So I'm doing the, um, what do you call it? Tortillas in the air fryer. And then I'm gonna layer some refried beans, ground beef, another tortilla, and then um, some, I don't have enchilada sauce, so I'm just doing taco sauce. Um, and then like some toppings um, with the cheese, minus the sour cream, I'll add the sour cream at the end and, and some green peppers. I've got some olives, tomatoes. Um, yeah, let me just show you what it looks like when it's put together. Wednesday night we had some uh, Persian takeout because I had some tummy issues for whatever reason. I did not feel well and I was in bed all day. So we have some uh, beef kubide uh, and we've got some sides here, some pita bread, uh, some sumac, and then we have this delicious lentil um, barley soup um, with mustama sear and some baba ganoush over here on the side. Thursday night and we're doing a Philly cheesesteak kind of rolls. Um, I used steakum and uh, seasoned it with some Worcestershire salt and pepper and then that's a side of the sunflower chopped salad kit from Aldi and I made a um, one of those uh, doctor your bunt cake thing that makes like makes it taste homemade. It's really good. <laughs> nice and moist. So uh, that is our Thursday night.
Friday night dinner was a pierogi with caramelized onions, that's the roasted garlic pierogi, and some leftover sweet kale salad. The second week of meals starts off on Monday with some ground beef marinated in Yoshida's uh, sauce marinade uh, with some green onions served over white rice and very simple. Colin ate it for two days and <laughs> enjoyed it. And that is our Monday night. Wednesday night, Colin is doing butter noodles and Texas cheese toast. And uh, Rob and I are doing some leftovers. We've got leftover taco, um, leftover Philly cheese steak filling, um, and fry up these um, chicken drumsticks and wings in the air fryer, and that's gonna be for Rob. I'll probably have some of that um, as well. And there's my dinner. I've got the air fried chicken, wings, and drumsticks gone. Leftover taco meat, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's mine, and then Rob's still sleeping, so I'm sure he'll have something similar. Thursday night was a new recipe for me. It is a chicken pot pie casserole. It was delicious. The recipe is linked below. Colin loved it so much. He had three servings for dinner and then another one later that evening. So I can vouch for this one. I will definitely be making it again. And that is our Thursday night. Double, no bun, and stuff. Find it. Includes the compilation of the last two weeks of our weekly meals. I did skip a few days here and there, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, ended with a sweet treat here, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, be well, and thanks for watching. <laughs>